what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to bitcoin daily guys today we're doing the five minute market analysis five minute fridays you know how it is let's jump right into it let me move my face out the way because i always forget uh as you can see guys we finally crossed that eleven thousand mark man that was a big uh little resistance there that we were facing we finally got through it um so now up and up up and onwards right um so looking at uh today's cryptocurrency prices you'll see that bitcoin is up one and a half percent not only that but it's up five percent in the last seven days so it's been a pretty 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 good uh last week um ever since that uh the what was it the trump tweet and the whole bitmex thing that's what's been affecting that's the news that been, that's been affecting the price lately um you'll see ethereum is up four percent today xrp kind of flat on the day half a percent up bitcoin cash one percent binance coin three percent polka dot seven percent chain link eleven percent um so you see that everything's green man everything's green just how i like it i'm sure that's how you guys like it too so uh jumping into the charts you can see here that uh this is a uh resistance level we were speaking about we mentioned it yesterday on yesterday's video as well um that eleven thousand dollar resistance plus this ascending uh support turned resistance um, as, as you can see, it was a support here, it was a support down here, support down here. So this was a tried and true tested support. Um, we So it turned to resistance. Uh, as you can see, we got re, uh, shot down, rejected right there, but we finally broke through. Um, now we just got to hold these levels above 11,000. Um, and, and I believe if we come back down, we will be using this as a support now along with the $11,000 support. So if you didn't get an entry, 11,000 is as close to 11,000 as possible would be a, a possible entry here. Um, if you're looking to enter on a, on a slight pullback. Um, if you're looking to enter on a breakout, then the breakout entry is going to be above 11,200 or above this Fibonacci level, which is about 11,213 ish, 215 ish probably. This is the 38.2% Fibonacci level as we have spoken about a lot. Um, so those are the two trades I'm looking at. Um, if we break down below this support, then the next support is going to be down here at the 10,800 level. Um, but the trades that we took this week, we took uh, the breakout above 10,600, took some profits at 10,800. That was here with the Fibonacci level, took some profits at 11,000. And then now our next level is 11,200. So we had a pretty successful week and I just fuck this all up i just moved this whole thing by mistake whoops let me see is this in the right place still nope this was up a bit i was around there i i don't i hate when it's not locked because then i'm just trying to move th this like this and then i click that by mistake and then the whole thing moves and i just mess everything up oh man the struggle but anyways guys let's jump into our next one uh ethereum so as you guys can see here ethereum has been pretty much just following bitcoin um this is the only other coin i am currently really day trading uh, on a day trading aspect as you can see we broke through this fibonacci level here let's uh let's see if we can expand this level can we nah it doesn't want us to expand it uh but now it's going to throw off the other levels because i didn't I didn't look uh, it's close enough right <clears throat> remember in trading there's no exact numbers in trading guys for anyone always acting asking for exact numbers there is no such thing everything is zones it's a game of zones so um, Fibonacci I mean uh, not Fibonacci uh, ethereum we spoke about the three three hundred fifty dollar range uh, so this was our entry right here our other entry was 320, which it didn't quite reach. Uh, it did get to 330-ish, uh, but our, our entries were uh, 350. Look at it right here. As you can see, a lot of price action at 350. So this is, was our entry. Boom, that breakout was very, very nice. Right into right up, right 
beyond our first target of 360 and now currently just sitting there so um, so if we're looking to enter this we're looking to, for a pullback back down to this Fibonacci retracement level which is around uh, 360 um, if we're looking for a breakout entry we're probably looking around the 380 range for the breakout entry so um, so around 380 is where we would enter a breakout our first target being this Fibonacci level which is 390 um, so yeah so around 380 is, is what we're looking for on a breakout uh, let's jump on Bitcoin cash Bitcoin cash finally decided to move guys it's finally moving it was stuck over here for a kind of a long time um, but it finally took off here we have some movement some signs of life it's finally showing us that it is alive so uh, now we are interested again on in Bitcoin cash uh, but not so fast we don't want anything under this range we kind of want uh, probably looking for something above the 240 range for a breakout entry for on a pullback we're looking for something in the 230 range so as close to 230 as possible but anywhere between 234 ish uh, to 233 is, is to 231 I mean or 230 what is it 232 is fine as well uh, for an entry um, and that's pretty much it guys it's looking good finally uh, Litecoin Litecoin is still just just still just not moving much man it's been trading in this range for so long now like I mean it feels like forever I know it hasn't been that long but I guess because of this look at all this consolidation then it dropped and then it slowly just kind of consolidated up a little bit but it's just consolidating so basically it's been consolidating for the past what month it's been over a month already since this this initial drop off here in September and just consolidation after consolidation is not real really any movement I'm not looking to enter this if you guys do want to enter it then probably above this range above $50 is is, is would be the breakout range there um, other than that I'm not touching it right now for day trading um, XRP ripple kind of the same thing guys look at this the same setup since the beginning of September after that drop it's just been in consolidation mode and more drops um, so again I just don't like it man I, I don't like it um, if I'm looking for a trade I'm looking for a breakout trade above 26 cents so we're close but we're not there yet um, link chain link chain link right um, Chainlink has kind of been in a similar situation here. You can see cons uh, the big drop off in September, consolidation, another huge drop, um, and then consolidated some more. Um, and it just hasn't been able to hit our levels that we're looking for. So uh, the one level we did speak about here was a $10 range. So the $10 is a, is a pretty uh, good big hole number. So we liked a breakout trade above $10. If you took it, you should be in profit make sure to use those stops if not uh, wait for a pullback to enter as close to ten dollars as possible um, under ten dollars we're not interested uh, above ten dollars for a breakout we're probably looking for something above the eleven dollars and twenty five cent range for a breakout trade um, tezzles 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 not much has been going on uh, the entry is two dollars here for on a pullback um, 215 is an is the next support level there uh, for a breakout above 225 is going to be the breakout there I'm trying to speed it up because we're we're basically above five minutes right now uh, neo guys neo has just been going down man. I don't know what's up um, I don't like it down here uh, probably looking for something so if you're looking for a support entry 1650 so it's a dollar down from where it's currently at 1650 would be a support entry uh, for breakouts above $18 um, let's look at the futures real quick see where futures are at futures are at 11,130 uh, futures are looking good um, and that's the last one look at Cardano Cardano has just kind of been consolidating after this big move um, I'm looking for entries around the 860 sats range um, or breakout entry above probably above a thousand is what I'd be looking for to really get that breakout entry um, but the 
another breakout entry would be above 920. So that's basically it, guys. I wanted to keep this as short as possible, guys. Uh, if you guys have any question, leave it in the comments. Um, should we do a question of the day today? It's Friday. Let's do it, guys. Let's give you guys a chance for another giveaway. Um, as you guys know, question of the day, every video we will have a random question about something in the video. The question will always be in a random area of the video. Find a question and find the an answer. Post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month membership to our trading room. Winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes. So the question of the day is, not that, question of the day is, what are the support entries and break out entries for bitcoin boom that's the question of the day guys that is it we are out of here have a great weekend everybody we will see you next weekend well next week uh possibly live streaming maybe today if not on sunday at some point we will be live streaming thank you guys appreciate it peace and love as always i'm out